I actually ordered this like like posture correcting device thing because I was like, you know, probably better for me to have something that's like keeping my shoulders back while I'm streaming because I do get into the habit of like hunching even though I have this chair. All right, against Warrior, I'm gonna keep these. Maybe this is wrong. Killer versus Postmates. Well, I uh. Festival. I think there's a good chance I'm going to be ordering Postmates today. Whoa, that's actually super interesting against Warrior. Okay, Espionage is also pretty sick. Test possibly. I'll be on Twitter for that. That's a pretty good draw. I'm just gonna underbelly fence, vendetta punch, kill this, kill this. So we already have an Auctioneer, which makes uh, Espionage much stronger. We're just going to play the Espionage this turn. Warpath, okay. Espionage. I explained this a little bit before. Um, espionage is a card that is very difficult to use in a lot of matchups. It's only really against Warrior that you want to. Where is Myra Taz plus that? Where's Myra Taz? Not Spirit plus Prep with Espionage. I mean, the thing is, yes, those are like these are like powerful combinations that you're talking about, but you need your deck to operate in other other situations, right? Like, speaking, hold on. I'm just gonna kill this. We can just kill this and play Doctor Boom. But, boom. Literally. But yeah, with adding a bunch of things that make your deck better in like long controlling games, you gotta take things out that make your deck good in, you know, the, the other games. And like having a bunch of combos on top of what's already like a, a pretty like combo focused deck with like Cutlass and Deadly and like, you know, the spell support and things like that just really makes it so your deck's gonna end up being extremely vulnerable against uh, aggressive decks. You know what I actually wanna do? I kind of want to splinter grab the Kobold Lackey. <laughs> we actually just have, uh, eh, this is so, this is like kind of a mess. I have too many good things to do. I'm just gonna use this first. Pinata. There's also Security Rover. We could Security Rover backstab it. Or just play the Security Rover. I'm just gonna play the Security Rover. <laughs> just say no to lettuce. Exactly where it's a beef, exactly. Yeah, Cutlass gets charged by all road cards now. I don't want to just play my Cutlass and get it killed by a weapon removal thing though. Okay. Are you looking at Warpath again? There's Tess, which will ca we'll re recast all non-warrior cards now. I could get a 10-10 Security Rover with this, which actually sounds great. Like, this thing seems pretty gross. You gotta kill it all in one shot. His opponent's already played a Mega Devastator. Yeah, plus it has Rush, because I'm Dr. Boom. Sure. I mean, the, the classic Splintergraft Tess Warrior deck. 
you got. Alright, I'm gonna auctioneer coin spectral deadly. I could theoretically get Beryllium Nullifier on this guy. <laughs> oh, you ruined it! <laughs> the, the, the best part about that was that as the rogue, I am the one who had boom on seven. And my poor warrior opponent needed to uh, learn to deal with it. <laughs> 